he wasn't a tactician or he wasn't a he wasn't a great strategist he wasn't a great play caller he wasn't a, he was an offensive lineman at Michigan State for crying out loud you know but he had a commitment to the game of football and and to winning you know like nobody I've ever been around in my life coach Kush being as demanding as he was is as a coach uh, some of these players some of my teammates wasn't accustomed to uh, the, the, the roar, the growl. All Coach Cush wanted was you to do your best. That's all he wanted. Frank liked the kids with the lesser talent that worked the hardest. Those were his favorite players, the Joe Donahues of the world, the guys that, you know, really busted themselves to improve. The better player you were, the more harsh treatment you received, I think because he wanted you to get the absolute best out of yourself. And if he thought there was more left in you, then he would be all over you. He was always the kind of guy that always wanted to do better, do better, do better, because you know you don't know what your limitations are until you get to where you think that's all I can do. Then when you try a little bit more, you just move ahead a little bit more. And that's why our, our football program was built. Now I'm gonna say something, Kush, I love him. I probably, I'm probably the only athlete that got away with so many things because I did what I was told. And he made me so scared to let down because I knew how he was. But then all he did was tell you, do it this way, and it would work. You knew he was going to be fair. If you did the job, then you had to start. Uh, if you didn't do the job somebody else started, then you still had a chance, certainly, to participate and make up for it. But uh, everybody knew where they stood, and uh, I think that's what made a team a team. But, you know, Frank had a real gentle part of him, too, that a lot of people don't know. He used to always put this toughness out there, you know. And it was a good image, of course, for our program and for everybody, you know, you know, saying I was. But over here, when a kid really needed some and some help. I mean, there was Frank right there for him. I was a young man that, you know, you hear about it, it takes a village to raise a kid. And I was, I was ASU's village kid, <laughs> okay, so. And, um, you know, I got in some trouble and, you know, I, I, Coach Cush had to let me go from the team for a year where I had to go meet with the president of the university. Coach Cush um, went to bat uh, for me and, he showed me a number of letters that said, don't let him back in school. You know, I don't, don't let him back in. But he took a letter, one letter, that he had in his top drawer, that he kept in his top drawer, was from my mother. And she asked Coach Cush, would he please give her son another opportunity? And he said, because of this letter right here, I'm going to give you a chance. And what you do with this opportunity will make a difference for another kid that might come through here that needs a second chance. And uh, I was reinstated uh, to the university and, you know, scored a touchdown in every game. And uh, we ended up, uh, you know, going to the Peach Bowl. And I ended up being uh, drafted to the Buffalo Bills in, in the top five pick. Um, and so what I learned, Coach Kush showed his love through discipline. And, if, and if he just wanted you to be the best. And if he saw you as a young athlete that had talent and wasn't producing, well, his job, he felt, was to get that out of you. He got out of me a football player, a quarterback, that I never, ever dreamed I could be or, or could have done on my own without the system. He created an environment at ASU where you could exceed your own potential. I would never have even played football in college, let alone had a 13-year career in the NFL, if it were not for Frank Cush. As I look back on it after 50, 60 years of the hundreds of thousands of kids that he helped, of which I'm one, and that uh, that's truly what he'd want to be measured by. And I think he's at the right place, standing by the, the stadium in the shade. <laughs> and uh, otherwise he'd be complaining about the heat.